what's going on folks wrapping up a tuesday afternoon just got the guys out of here it's about 15 minutes after 5 uh january the 10th and i'm sitting here watching the burn pit burn just to make sure it burns down so we go through a ton of pallets and cardboard and stuff and some of that we save and reuse uh, especially the pallets but we had this burn pit built uh last year because it's just the easiest way to get rid of everything so we got some equipment sitting out here three trailers uh, another trailer inside bunch of skids um it's january a lot of stuff's picking up so wanted to talk to you guys about something i had on my mind we did a video last night and i was thinking about this topic and then it kind of some things came up in the video that made me think about it a little bit more and uh i wanted to cover that with you but before we get into it we'll let you guys know that we're doing an event here at the southeast off wash headquarters uh february 10th and 11th it's called WashCon. this will be the second annual WashCon. we've done several events over the last four years uh with some other guys WashCon is now the the new version of that so we'll be here for two days if you guys want to come and hang out with us there'll be some links down below uh, for standard tickets and i think we've got a couple of vip tickets we always sell out the vip tickets first so vip ticket gets you two days friday and saturday standard ticket is just friday now friday is going to be like a 12-hour day uh, with a lot of training myself justin aaron and mike going over me equipment uh, technique chemical usage things like that uh, hands-on stuff mike systems automation streamlining your business uh, a little bit of quoting stuff in there aaron website seo optimization how to get seen on google and then justin with social media uh, so that's what we're going to cover and all those things are very valuable to your business but this video we'll get back into the video so if you guys want to check that out check out the links down below in this video i wanted to talk about the three skills <laughs> i got my i got a new gun saturday and it's digging into my kidney every time i bend over three skills that you need to develop uh in order to be successful in your business and i think these are important um they're sort of on the personal development side of things and they're overlooked so if you don't practice these things if you don't put them into place and understand maybe you're just you're just like this already uh, but these are three things that i had to work on to make sure that i want to get off the ground i think this the lack of these will keep you from getting off the ground so let's get into it uh number one the number one thing that you need is thick skin and this is in no particular order i don't i don't guess there's an order of importance but you got to have thick skin because from the moment you announce that you're going to start a business your friends are going to try to talk you out of it your family's going to try to talk you out of it your in-laws are going to try to talk you out of it because they typically these people and they're looking out for your best interest they really usually they are uh, but they don't believe that you can make it and maybe you don't a lot of businesses fail but how are you going to know if you don't try right so if you want to try it understand you got to have thick skin and then uh once you get out of the startup stage maybe you're getting into some success you're still going to have to have a thick skin because a lot of people don't want to see you succeed especially competitors uh your haters out there so we get crazy people all the time they don't want to see us win other industry guys they're super jealous and they talk smack all the time doesn't matter all you can do is ignore it and keep doing you and keep pushing forward but you got to grow a thick skin i know so many guys that will not post on youtube they will not post on on facebook because they don't want to deal with the troll comments and the backlash and the stupidity that is inevitable it wouldn't matter if you were giving away if your mother Teresa, people on youtube are going to have stuff to say people on facebook are going to talk negative right there you're going to do a post in a yard sale group to try to get some business and there's going to be haters down below so you just have to grow a thick skin and not care you just really don't care so number one is get a thick skin number two uh which one do i want to do next i say leverage your tools uh what do i mean by that well we've got tools right we've got a forklift here that's a tool i've got my truck over there that's a tool this fire pit is a tool uh, the equipment itself is a tool so what tools do you have and don't just think about physical tools we, we get that that's an easy example tools help us do the job better right well what other tools do you have at your disposal that you're maybe not using i think immediately of something like quote iq uh, a crm tracking all that data it's something i didn't do for years i was not leveraging all the tools that were available to me because we're in the middle of alabama right we're in the middle of redneck roanoke alabama and nobody's using that kind of stuff we're, we're doing everything analog with pen and paper horrible way to do it so make sure that you're levering all the technology that's out there all of the tools that you have at your disposal not just your pressure washer and your soft wash system but the tools that make you run your 
your business smoother and in a more efficient manner. Here's a good example. Uh, we're, we're about to start using a answering service, uh, looking at a few options. There's a few of them out there. One of them is called Answer Force. There's another one called Jill's Office. There's probably more. Freeze you up, right? So when somebody calls your landline, if you're not there to answer the phone, the phone still gets answered. You can call them back. So it's a huge uh, opportunity to make sure that the phone gets answered, the customer gets taken care of, and you're not pulling your hair out. That's a tool you can leverage to make sure that you're uh, taking care of your folks and you're keeping your sanity. So find all these little business tools, right? QuickBooks, something as simple as that can be a tremendous business tool. So number one, grow a thick skin. Number two, leverage your tools. And then number three, uh, get out of a broke mindset. So a broke mindset, what does that look like to you? Um, Aaron talks about this a lot, but really it, it resonates with me a lot because we're so, I guess in the South, you know, with, we don't value education very much down here. We don't, well, I take that back. We do if you're going to Auburn University and you're gonna go into debt and you're gonna learn, you know, marine biology, uh, everybody's gonna pat you on the back and say, that's a great idea. But if you spend a few hundred dollars on a course, if you go and take a class, if you join a program that's gonna help you, people crap on that. I challenge you guys not to think that way. Don't have a broke mindset. Uh, one average roof cleaning, you know, can cover your, maybe two roof cleanings a year, covers your personal development cost. And it can come in many forms. It can be paid training, it can be a class, uh, it can be as simple as the people that you surround yourself with. So surround yourself with people who are gonna push you to do more and do better and always be striving for better. You don't want your business to burn to the ground. And uh, there's, there's somebody out there all the time, this is the nature of capitalism, there's somebody out there all the time that's trying to put you out of business. Kevin O'Leary, I read a quote last night from him, Mr. Wonderful, some people don't like him. I like him a lot. He said, business is war. And if you don't think so, you're gonna be one of the casualties. Hope you guys have a great week. It's week two of the year. Are you tracking your progress? Do you have goals? Are you hitting them? Are you meeting them? Are you pushing the envelope? We are, that's what we're doing up here. We'll see you guys in the next video.